Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Okami Den. In the last episode, we got back here to the Shinshu province after getting the ability to warp about anywhere we want, thanks to Kagu. And in this episode, now that we can move about the world any which way we want, I would actually like to get a lot of side questing done because there's a lot of people we can invite to Yakushi Village, there's a lot of areas that we can go to that we could not go to before, and I'd like to get them all done, okay? So, I'm going to be taking a bit of a trip around the world, and come along if you'd like, it's your Okay, I really should not quote that, that's a... God, a YouTube poop fad from like 2008? Are you serious? I don't know. I quote the weirdest things, I'm out there, you know this. But, I guess it's what you guys like about me. So, and looks like I go into the wrong portal. Okay, we actually need to go over to Hana Valley, that is our first stop today. This is what I'm making my first stop. So if you haven't guessed, this video is kind of the start of that segment that every big LP I do seems to have, where we have gotten a decent, we've gotten decently far into the story, and the story's getting moving really fast from here on out. But we're in a little bit of a slow bit of the story right now. That there's really not much action going on in the story. We've resolved most of the conflicts going on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a lot of side quests here for a little while, so they don't interrupt the action for us later. Uh, right over here, we got a demon merchant who was not here the first time. Doesn't really have anything special for us, but... First off, after obtaining Cherry Bomb, if you come back to Hana Valley, there is a monkey here. Eek, eek, I'm so hungry. Eek, eek, got any snacks in you? Eek, eek, the humans always have the best food. Eek, eek! They always have lots of it. Eek, eek! I need to figure out where they all hang out. Tell them how to get to Yakushi Village? You bet we will. Eek, eek! Oh, lots of people means lots of food. Eek, eek! I need to get there. I need to be there yesterday. So he's going to give us a lot of praise, and I think that's actually going to get us a level. So that's some early praise that I actually didn't grab right away. Let's see if I do. No, not quite. Oh, well. Now, the next thing is, you might recall these dandelions throughout the land. So... She's going to give us a bit of a hint for what it is we have to do there. We have not been able to do anything with these for quite a while. However, if we blow wind on them... That will, I guess, make the dandelion happy, because it's its version of reproducing, and I guess... Reproduction feels good, even to dandelions? Okay. But yes, there's dandelions all throughout the land that we can now use wind on that we could not get before. So those are all going to yield quite a bit of prey. So I'm going to go around getting all the ones that I've at least made note of. But there's actually some other things that we can do. See these piles of leaves? Well, because wet suckers did not exist in ancient Japan, I keep making that joke for some reason, we can now use wind to get rid of them. You get an Eastern Masterpiece Part 4 from that one, so not bad. Alright, now in the Agata Forest, there are a few areas where we can use our powers on. First of all is right outside of Madame Fawn's place. There is, well, a cliff up here that we have an area where we can use Wind and a Dandelion. So there's some free praise for us right there, and I think this is going to get us a level. Whoa! That is some powerful wind! Do you see that tree just getting almost blown over several times? That's nuts, dude! Crazy. So, if you haven't guessed by now, I think I did say this earlier, is the dandelions are pretty much the replacement for the clovers that were in Okami, simply because the clover was Clover Studio's logo. Clover Studio no longer exists, as they were disbanded due to Hideki Kamiya and other key people leaving it. And, well, that's just kind of how that goes. Capcom says that even though that Clover was a subsidiary of them, they didn't really have the ability to use their logo in the game. So, nothing really more complicated than that. But, now that we're done here, there's a few other places where we can use powers here in the Agata Forest. And the first of such locations is in that cave that you can use Cherry Bomb to open that I got to a few videos back. If you use Vine to get yourself across the... Why did I submit that? It clearly was not recognizing that I was interacting with it. Um, you can go over to that chest, and wouldn't you know it, you can use lightning on it. You know what? Let's divide by zero. Whoa! That looks so cool! I don't know why I get so excited about that. It's so cool looking, though. Like, I guess that's all the reason I need, is just I get excited for it, because it is just that cool looking. All right, here we have some enemies, two, actually. Uh, you can use one of them to draw the lightning to that chest, and apparently have no effect on that other one. Get an Eastern Masterpiece Part 5 there. Up here by the spring, and the save point where Madame Fawn used to be, Water here. the waters here are very clear and beautiful. We can use wind on this pile of leaves right here. And... 
blow over the demon scroll, apparently. Okay, that was kind of funny, but not what I was trying to do. Right there, we have an Isu Masterpiece Part 4. And then lastly, you cross the water over here, getting to where you first arrived in the Agatha, or rather, you arrived in the Agatha Forest on your second visit when you came here with Kuro. You can hop up here to get into the Guardian Sapling Cave. And in here, there is one last thing that we can grab, which is... Long Cave. I should have thought this through, but I didn't. We can go around the tree and behind it somewhere, maybe, possibly... There's a dandelion! We use wind on that, and... Woo! Don't know where dandelion is going to reproduce to in the middle of a cave where there's no other dandelions, but it'll figure something out. And back to southern Ryoshima coast with the awesome music, like I didn't say those two words enough times the first time we were here. We have some stuff that we can grab here as well. First off, we need to head to the Onkoku Temple, not Onkuku as I kept calling it for some odd reason. Once we head up here, there's a few things that we can grab, plus something that I actually did not know about that you guys pointed out in the comments. So, unfortunately, we gotta interrupt the awesome music here for a second there. Whoa! Okay, I didn't admittedly fill up too much of the screen that time, but... The important thing is, we have an area where we can use wind right here, so let's go ahead and use that. And that'll get us a chest, which contains... Eastern Masterpiece Part 4! Kirby, go away! Now, if we go behind the Onkoku Temple... Remember this wall right here? That was important in Okami? What's this? It's just a wall, right? I wonder what's behind it. A little bit of a loose reference to the first game. Uh, I actually didn't know that you could inspect that wall and it would actually say that. So, nice little nod for the developers to have done that, because as you know, Comedy was made by a different development studio. Had some of the same people that were involved in the first one. That was a great shot. But, um, not all the same people worked on Okamidim, but it's still nice that they included something like that nonetheless. So, aside from that, here in Ryoshima Coast, we also have the ability to invite some new people to Yakushi Village. Right here. She doesn't look so old, her hair is still brown. My husband was on a merchant vessel that was lost at sea. Oh my god, now I feel bad for giving you a stupid voice. Ever since then, I've been beside myself with grief. Okay, I can't give her a dumb voice anymore. I feel too bad. Ha! Huh. This place holds too many memories. I need to get away from here. I just want to find a place where I can start over. Let's give her the map to Yakushi Village. So, I just wish I had a grandchild to accompany me. Well, that's not going to happen. So long and thank you. So, bit of foreshadowing there, actually. That is a bit of a hint to a side quest that's going to be popping up for us in a bit. I was ready to help those who need it. Maybe we can check up on her later to see how she's doing. Alright, so aside from that, we have a few other people here that we can invite. Talk to this guy, he's got a bit of a reverence. I hope I can catch a Whopper of fish tomorrow. You know, the other day, I caught an Orca. In the end, though, I let it go. I have a feeling you shouldn't eat things like that. Maybe nature spoke to you directly about it. An Orca could have been a very important part of the ocean's ecology. So, a bit of another reverence to the first game. If you have not watched my Let's Play of Okami or played the first one, I highly recommend you look up Orca's theme, or as it's called in some um, soundtracks, Shachimaru's theme. Very good song, one of my favorites from the first one. Oh, blimey! I get weak in the knees just looking at the sea. I never thought I'd be able to survive a shipwreck. My days as a fisherman are over. From now on, I'll live by toiling on the land. You know of any place a fella could make a fresh start? Show him the map of Yakushi Village, you bet we will! Blimey, we will! That sounds like the kind of place where I can just start over! Much obliged! I am so sorry to any of you that happen to live in Australia. I know you guys already have it tough enough getting games like five years after we do. I mean, God, aren't you guys like still on PlayStation 1 or something like that? I don't know. But... I know you guys already have it tough, and you really did not need me to make fun of you, but I didn't intend for it, I swear. Alright. So, people think that she's given up acting. It's kind of like how, um, people think that when I haven't made a video for like a week or so after I finish a series, they think that I've given up making videos, when in reality, I just feel like I need a break for every now and again. So, going up here. Uh, no, 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 no! Okay, let's not have a hard time getting up this pier. Okay, good. 
that pier is one of the few areas in Okami Doom where I think the camera is really terrible and that it really should have been improved. But aside from that, we have another person that we can invite over here. Remember the um, boy who was on the pier waiting for his dad to come home? Well, my dad's boat hasn't come back yet and I don't want to be all alone. Come on, Pooch. You have to help him. I don't know how giving him a map is going to help him. You mean I won't be alone if I go there? Great, I can't wait to go. We solved this problem rather quickly. You're always ready to help those who need it. Maybe we can check on him later to see how he's doing. All right, so we've invited quite a few people already, and believe it or not, there's even more side questy stuff for us to do. The next area has what I consider one of the most underrated songs in Okami. I mean, it's it's a good song, but uh, and people do notice it, but I don't ever see it like on top ten list for best Okami songs, and that is Commoner's Quarters. I really love the song that plays here. However, she says the aristocratic quarter is sounding very lively. Ah! What was that? Hurry! Right here is a bit of story progression, but we do need to come here to do side quests anyway, so I kind of wanted to head here anyway. Hey, someone's passed out over there. Are you okay? Can you hear me? This is bad. It looks like it's a coma state. Is there a doctor in the area? Hey, 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 what's the deal here? You think my powers can be of help? Maybe they can. A good shock might wake this person up. Okay, Pooch, you know what to do, right? We're going to perform shock therapy. Chibi, I highly doubt you are licensed for this, but who knows? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Huh? What happened? You passed out and were lying in the street. Really? Huh. Can you save me? I guess I owe you thanks. <laughs> I think I'm deserving of some of the fat thanks. Still, it feels good to help people even without thanks. I guess I have no reason to stay in this realm any longer. Farewell. See you in the next life. Not too soon, I hope. I'm glad I was, he was finally able to move on. So we get some praise from Raiden for that. He has moved on to the afterlife, meaning that he won't be appearing in any more sequels. Mm. So, there are two things that we can grab right over here by Mr. Flower's house. First of all, we can use wind on this pile of leaves. That'll give us a monkey fig. Not anything new, but it's something, I suppose, if you need something to sell. But, right over here, we got the Sake Brewer. I gotta find a patch of land with good wind and water runoff. I need those two things to make some killer sake. To Mabiyakushi Village, I'm kind of, well, I guess maybe you shouldn't go to Kamiki Village because they have way too much competition with Kushi, so Yakushi Village does sound right. Think I'll make some quality sake there? Well, thank you kindly. I'll just be on my way. So, we invite yet another person there. Now, just to make a quick note, every NPC that I've shown, aside from the monkey so far, you could, could have invited since Kagu joined you. However, everyone I'm showing from here on out is only after Kuro joins you, so if you are watching these videos not in the same order as you playing along, then just making that note there if you are playing along. Okay, so over here we have the restaurant that we were at briefly quite a few videos ago, actually. Inside, we have some people we can talk to. Yaku. Have you heard of the food here yet? It's the best I've ever eaten. If you haven't eaten already, try some of its organic dishes. They're so good. They've inspired me to create some of the most delicious organic dishes ever myself. Too bad there's no good place to learn how to mix natural ingredients. Let's give them Abayakushi Village. So, I guess when we go there, it's gonna be Yakushi Village. Oh god, I had to, come on. Watch him just become like the most popular guy in town. Watch him be like, hey, I'm so great, they named the place after me. Yakushi Village. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, he is the great mo- <laughs> What is wrong with me? I'm making so many dumb, insulting voices this episode. This is the insensitive episode. So there's Momotaro. We can also invite him to Yakushi Village. You mean I can find a retainer there? This is great, now I won't be alone anymore. Thank you, Kagu, and you too, White Dango. Or Dongo. Dango. Dango. Dango is a dish in Japan, actually, made from rice, so that does make sense, because Momotaro is the biggest fairy tale in Japan, as I always say. Right over here, in southern Ryoshima Coast, we're going to be heading to northern Ryoshima Coast now, but on the way there, there is a dandelion that we can use our powers on. That'll get us some more praise. I know, like, we need any more. We already have nine units of health out of a possible ten, and eight ink pots out of a possible ten, so we're doing quite well. Alright, so back here in northern Ryoshima Coast, 
there's just a few things that we can get while we're here. Of course, the Moon Tribe Ruins are no longer accessible to us because we need Kuro's abilities to fly to get over there, and we no longer have them. So unfortunately, the awesome, relaxing music is going to get the shaft. But what does not get the shaft is, you might recall that if we go in here, there was a chest that we could not open before. Kuro did not know how, we did not know how, because we did not have lightning yet. We're going to use that, and we get a dragon fig. Not a new artifact by any stretch, but of course, any money is good money, and you can sell those if you need more. And wow, any money is good money. That is not a good saying to go off when you think about how many dishonest ways you can actually go about getting money. Oof. Now, the last thing for us to do here in northern Ryoshima Coast is right here. Thunder. So we have a person from Thundercloud here. You know where I can just rock out for a lot of lots of peeps? Also, the higher the stage, the louder I can rock. We give her a map of Yakushi Village. So Thunder, is your last name Cloud? Okay, I had to. So we got two characters with half of a place name in their name that we've invited now. Alright, so with that, what do you say now that we've done so much stuff, we warp to Yakushi Village now? Go left and take the suspension bridge to the gourd-shaped island. There is another bridge from there to a smaller island. We've just rebuilt it, in fact. It's been in ruins forever. Do you know we have a natural hot spring in this very town? They say it brings lots of life and that legend has attracted many tourists. I suggest you go take a dip for yourself if you ever need a recharge. Our town finally acquired the services of a sake brewery. He says the land here is good for making high quality sake. Okay. So, we have a lot of stuff in Yakushi Village now. A lot. And while this episode is really collectible happy, I really think we should save that for the next episode because this is going to be a really long video if we go explore it all right now. Trust me on this. So next time in Okambi-din, we'll be exploring it. See you guys then.